What is a load balancer and load balancer types explained? A load balancer is a network device or software based system designed to distribute incoming network traffic across multiple servers, ensuring efficient resource utilization, reliability and high availability of services. Load balancers are essential for systems that need to handle a high volume of requests or maintain uptime even if one server fails. By evenly distributing traffic, they prevent any single server from becoming a bottleneck improve response times and provide resilience to the network. So how load balancer works? Load balancers operate by routing requests to multiple backend servers, also known as nodes or instances. Based on the chosen load balancing method or algorithms, the load balancer is positioned between the clients and the servers, acting as a reverse proxy that directs requests to appropriate servers and sends responses back to the clients. And here are the types of load load balancers, hardware load balancers. These are the dedicated physical devices designed to handle large amounts of network traffic. They are usually used in enterprise environments due to their high performance but can be costly. Software load balancers. This type of load balancers run on standard servers and use software applications to perform load balancing functions. These are more flexible and scalable for many organizations, especially those using in cloud environments. And third type of load balancers is cloud-based load balancers. These load balancers are offered by cloud providers, AG, AVS, Elastic Load Balancer, Azure Load Balancer, and they integrate directly with cloud infrastructure, allowing easy scaling and management. And load balancers use different algorithms to determine how requests are distributed among servers. And here are load balancing algorithms. Round Robin. This algorithm distributes each request sequently across servers. Least connections. This load balancing algorithm routes requests to the server with the fewest active connections. IP hashing assigns clients to server based on the IP address, keeping specific users routed to the same server. And weighted round robin prioritizes servers with greater capacity by assigning more traffic to them and least response time algorithm sends the request to the server that has the quickest response time, optimizing speed. And here is the example of load balancer in web application. Imagine a large e-commerce website with thousands of visitors every minute. If only one server were handling all traffic, it would quickly become overloaded, slowing down the response times or even crashing. A load balancer in this setup distributes incoming customer requests to several servers, allowing each server to handle manageable portions of traffic. This way, each visitor experiences a fast, responsive website even during peak hours. If one server goes offline, the load balancer automatically redirects traffic to other available servers, ensuring users don't experience downtime. And here are types of load balancing. First one is layer 4. In this scenario, load balancer operates on the network level, routing traffic based on IP addresses and ports without inspecting content. And this is often faster since it doesn't analyze the application layer data but offers limited granularity. And on layer 2, application layer below balancing operates at the application level and can inspect HTTP headers, URLs or cookies to make more specific routing decisions. And this is often used to HTTP, HTTPS traffic, allowing it to distribute requests based on a specific applications or resources, enabling detailed and efficient load distribution. And here are all additional features of load balancing. Health monitoring continuously checks server health. If a server becomes unresponsive, the load balancer automatically removes it from the pool until it recovers. SSL offloading manages SSL encryption decryption tasks, reducing server load and enhancing performance. Sticky sessions or session persistence routes requests from the same client to the same server, which is important for applications requiring session consistency. And here are the advantages of load balancers. Improved performance distributes the load, preventing any of the server from becoming overwhelmed. High availability provides redundancy, 
If one server fails, traffic is automatically redirected to other servers. And scalability enables network to handle more traffic by adding more servers, allowing smooth scaling of resources as demand grows. And to summarize this all up, a load balancer optimizes traffic distribution, enhances availability and provides flexibility for scaling resources efficiently. And load balancers are key components in ensuring reliable, scalable and responsive network environments.